Hey, Man Camper Woody here, my little buddy Nebo. <laughs> Welcome to my next video. Glad to have y'all here. Bear with me, and I'm gonna catch up with y'all. What's going on? Where I'm at? And what my plans are from here on out. So bear with me. We'll catch y'all on the other side. Okay, folks, welcome back to this side of the video. Glad to have each and every one of y'all here. Uh, I want to say thank you so much to all you who have subscribed. Got me up over 800 subscribers. I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. Let's see how long it takes to get a 1,000. Uh, I am a non-monetized channel, uh, so I'm not looking to get anything from anybody. And I pretty much support myself and Nebo. And... Um, Every once in a while, I do get donations, and I do appreciate y'all for that. And uh, I, you know, I thank you for that. But like I said, it is a free channel. I do this out of love of my heart for uh, my family, uh, the nomadic friends, and uh, people who are just starting out. Let you show that even with disabilities, uh, it is possible to live out here like this. Um, I'm wrapping it up in. Uh, North Dakota. I've seen all that I wanted to see. I started this uh, uh, this uh, journey on the road to the roadside giants, and um, I missed some over in Minnesota uh, uh, that I didn't see. Uh, the Paul Bunyan and Babe I couldn't get to because the road was under construction, uh, so I missed it. But um, I'm really pleased with everything I got to see here in North Dakota. The world's largest catfish um, down there uh, uh, over south of um, Fargo. There was a uh, museum in Fargo that I didn't get a chance to get into because it was closed. Uh, it's supposed to have the world's largest bat, uh, which I thought the largest bat would be over in Louisville, Kentucky, you know. Uh, so, but anyways... Uh, Dakota Thunder was an amazing. I hope y'all enjoyed that in the Frontier Village. Um, Sandy, the world's largest sandhill crane. Uh, Salem Sioux, the world's largest um, Holstein cow. And um, going down to see um, the Enchanted Highway was just, you know, uh, to me, it was all icing on the cake. Now, there are a total of 12 roadside giants that you can find online uh, for North Dakota. I didn't make it to four of them. Like I said, the bat I didn't go to. There's two up by the Canadian border I didn't go to. And there was one west of the Lewis and Clark uh, that I didn't get a chance to get, uh, go to. The reason being, it was too cold to stay up there on US-2. So I went on down to uh, uh, Interstate 94 that's where I found my free camps at, which I showed y'all in previous videos. Um, once I left the last camp over in Minnesota, I pretty much did what I call urban camping. Stayed in Walmart parking lots, truck stops. Uh, stayed at a couple of auto repair uh, tire shops. Um, you know, like I said, get in and get out before anybody gets up. So... Um, that is it for North Dakota. I'm going over to where my heart's at since 1983 uh, when I first first time I ever uh, laid my eyes on Montana. So I'm going over to Montana, and I'll be watching the weather again too, because um, just because it's springtime down here in the south, the southeast don't mean it's springtime up here in the northwest especially the Pacific Northwest, being in higher elevations. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably show y'all a little bit more going out of North Dakota here, uh, Williston. I thought uh, the Dog Holiday, uh, I guess, restaurant was pretty cool, the stuff they had out in front of it. But it was a little bit too expensive for me going there. 
when I seen the prices online, um, I figured I was gonna have to get nitro if I went inside. <laughs> but anyways, joy what's left of the video. Um, and uh, we'll catch y'all at the end. And um, I'm gonna try to make my way over to have her. I'll tell y'all more about the camping across US two uh, uh, when I get over there. Okay, so bear with me. We'll catch y'all on the other side. Just want to run right back by Doc Holiday's Roadhouse here. Mm -hmm, some pretty nice looking statues in here. Isn't it pretty cool? Doc Holiday's. I didn't go in there because I looked at the menu last night and said, Woo, doggy! That song was going was up there. Don't call it names. Alright. Welcome back to this side of the video. Well, we've got 12 more miles of North Dakota here. We're heading uh, west on US 2 here. Then in the next uh, big state. Uh, about 665 miles across it. Montana. Let's see what we can get into, what we're going to do. Uh, it's kind of struggling. Hoping this will be the last cold weekend uh, this time of the year, May. Well, this first uh, full week of May here in North Dakota, man, it's been freaking cold at night. Excuse my friends. Anyways, I'm heading over here. See what we can get into, so bear with us. Stay tuned. I've got all my camping, all my sightseeing I wanted to do roadside giants here in uh, North Dakota. We'll catch y'all on the other side. What you get when you drive a long day like I've done today? I just felt like driving. Went from sun, shining clouds. I knew I was heading in toward towards another cold front. But almost to where we're gonna be at for the evening. For, actually for the weekend. So I'm gonna wait for this all to clear up and do one more cold, possibly snowy night, and then uh 
get all my stuff together and figure out which way I'm going to go for the free camping. I'm about two weeks story of my life too early to go to over in the glacier. So, here we go. Yeah, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I know it's been a driving video again and I did get some things though before I left Williston. But, um, and I stopped, took a nap, a midday nap like I like. You know, so, um, that's where we're at. And I'll let y'all know where I'm going to spend the weekend at when I get over here. Still looking at one more, one more place before I decide. So, bear with me. Catch y'all on the other side. Okay, folks. Well, uh, I am in Haver. I have come across a couple hundred miles here uh, into Montana. I think it's a total of 677 miles across uh, uh, Montana on US-2. Um, just uh, go back into North Dakota there for a minute. Um, there are city parks across US-2 that you can stay in. Um, uh, some of them require you to go to city hall to register and, um, they, uh, have pretty reasonable prices. Some of them, uh, some of them are free. Like the first one I've seen coming across into Montana is a city park. You can stay for five days. Uh, you have to do no check-in, um, had a picnic table, you know, and, and all that. Uh, I didn't care for it because to me it was, uh, surrounded by residential, uh, homes and uh so um well, that's why i came all over ever but the um the other city parks uh, that you check into they was having um it was like eight dollars a night you got water and electricity you know and then they had a weekly rate and they had a monthly rate so um uh you know i i think i i think it was 240 dollars for a month to stay in a city park and uh, they're smaller towns. You know, there's no bunch of riffraff running around or anything. So, you know, that was a pretty good deal over there. But, um, and then come over in Montana, same thing. Uh, these city parks, like you stay, you know, five days uh, uh, for free. And if you want electricity and water, of course, you're going to have to pay for it a little bit more. I, th I think it was like $15 or $14, $12 a night. Somewhere in there. But um, I'm going to stay here at the Walmart in Haver. And uh, the camp that we're going to is about 12 miles west of here. And uh, that's where we're going to be at uh, uh, hopefully in the next video. And uh, there's a couple camps over there that, that I will check out depending on what the weather does. They're calling for snow again. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up share it with your friends i really appreciate each and every one of y'all all my heart welcome to your new ones uh, so for now y'all stay safe stay healthy safe travels we'll catch y'all on the other side